right, you guys, I have two types of okra that I'll be sewing today, and I'll probably do a third variety, but I will be doing the Clemson Spineless and the Red Burgundy today. Um, they have done really, really well for us in the past, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, sew those for this evening. We have rain projected, so I really want to get these sewn before the rain comes in. I have worked up well-tilled um, mounds here. Um, because okra can get really big and it really needs to go really deep so um, you can grow these in containers or you can grow them in the ground so that's what we're going to do today easy to grow plant them about maybe six inches apart um, and you could do four to six inches apart you know depending on if what you, how big you want your okra plants to be i'll more than likely do about six inches apart here and yeah i'm going to water them in well of course they'll get the rain that's coming in really really soon all right so below me here are the mounds really really simple to do let me show you how i do it all right so here i'm just working up a nice little trench here and i have my okra seeds and you can kind of eyeball it and just drop your seeds about four to six inches all the way down if one or two drop you know a little closer than you want it's fine you can always thin them out so I'm just going down like that dropping my seed I have more here and I want to make sure I got in there I did all right there they are and I just keep working my drill here, just keep working a nice kind of trenched out area for them to grow in. Oops, dropped too many. I'll just go back and get them. And it's okay if a couple drop, um, if a few drop in the wrong spot. You can always thin them out if you want. All right, so I'm gonna go I'm going to sow the seed all the way down to the end of that row. And when I'm done, I'm going to cover them over and I'm going to water them in well. Just like that I'm all done that's how easy it is to plant okra okra likes full Sun so definitely give it a nice sunny spot if you, and if you do you can rest assured you're gonna have a lot a lot of okra make sure you pick it often so that it can continue to produce for you and you can even prune okra and it will branch out uh, more branches for you as well um, so you can top it off um, the top of the plant and it'll it'll bush out so the last thing I'm gonna do is um, fertilize the bed I'm going to give, um, give my okra some organic fertilizer and I'm going to water that in well as well. All right guys, here they are. The burgundy okra. This is a beautiful, beautiful plant. I absolutely love it. It is stunning. It's doing really, really good. And it's, um, it looks like it's starting to produce the flowers. So that's great going to produce the flowers and that means it's going to produce some okra very soon. And then right in front of that is the Clemson Spineless Okra. All right so behind me I'm going to harvest an okra now and we're going to see what it tastes like. You boys want to see what raw okra tastes like? Okay, so, all right, so here, okay, shears, come on. So here's a really proper size for harvesting. Hi, 
do it. All right, he's gonna taste it, you guys. No, why you bite that little bitty small tip? You gotta bite the more than that. Bite that right there. Yeah, like that much. That much. Bite it. Oh, that crunch. Okay. <laughs> Chew it. It. Huh? <laughs> Chew it. <laughs> the texture. Is the texture getting in? So, yeah, that's it. Sit back and watch it grow, guys. So, yeah, like this video if you like it, and I hope you do. Subscribe if you're new. And share this video if you want to, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Happy gardening.